Dan Hurd here with Dan Hurd Prospecting. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, more cleaning up gold in a gold pan. The third method in my uh, series of how to clean up gold is going to be all about using the back wash method. A gold panning technique that is great for clearing the black sand away from the gold so you get pure clean gold afterwards. If this kind of information is important to you, and you like watching this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss an episode. Tonight, backwashing. Enjoy. Now, if you've missed the beginning of this series, I have done three other videos. The first one was on floating gold, or how to prevent your gold from floating out of your pan. The second one was on a very simple cleanup method of just simply panning. The third one was all about the tap, tap, tap method, tapping your gold up out of the black sands. And of course, this one will all be about the backwash. There will be a couple more videos after this. I will show you how I actually clean up my gold, putting all three of those techniques all together. And then I might even show one more video at the end about drying out your gold and putting it in a vial and storing it away and keeping your gold nice and clean. Now for this uh, backwash method, I have a little bit of cons in my pan right now, but I'm going to take the rest of these cons. Uh, you may have seen me create these cons early in one of my earlier videos. Uh, this is where I used the Icon I-150 centrifugal concentrator running placer material. But uh, I have just a few cons left. I'm going to sift them out here so I don't put any big stuff through it. Get them, wash those all down into the pan. Make sure there's nothing left here. Nice and clean. Sift out any of the bigger stuff. There's a few bigger flakes there. And now I've got a good amount here. A good amount to use for this backwashing method. For this demo tonight, I'm going to be using the Falcon Finishing Pan. Thank you, Mark, from Goldstream Plaster Supplies for supplying this to me. You don't have to use a special finishing pan to do this. Any old plan would work, but I've got this special pan, so I'm going to use it, and it works very well. Let me explain the backwash method a bit here. Uh, it uses just a bit of water in your pan, and you create a wave in, in your pan, going forward and back, forward and back. And we adjust the strength of that wave to just be hard enough, strong enough, to move black sands but it's not strong or hard enough to move gold. And as we create that wave, it goes forward and back. The black sands always move back a little bit more than they go forward because you're keeping the pan tilted back a bit. And as the wave goes, every time a wave hits the layer of black sand, it pulls a little bit more black sand away. But as I said, the wave's not hard enough to move gold, so the gold stays where it's at and the black sand slowly just recedes away from the gold at the front of the pan. Let me show you that in action. I need the other camera for that. Okay, for the backwash method, we need uh, an amount of water in our pan, you know, a quarter full or so of water. We need our cons near the front and stratified nicely, shake them down so the gold is sitting on the bottom. We will need another sucker bottle, or an empty sucker bottle. So fill it up with just enough water so it's kind of full to the right point, so it shoots water out when you squeeze it. So it's like half full of water. And then we're going to start the wave going back and forth in the pan. You can see as the water comes away from that pile of cons at the front, it pulls some black sand with it. And when you're doing this wave, if you're doing it right, you will end up with a very distinct line of black sand forming from each wave. It always deposits in one spot, one line. And that's where the other sucker bottle comes in handy. We squeeze out the water into the pan, so we maintain our water in the pan, 
and then we suck up that line of black sand. And then we go back to washing, back washing. It's important to have jet dry in your water for this because if you don't, you're going to float gold a lot because we're drying out the gold every wave. Okay, we've got another good line. Go in there with the sucker bottle, suck it up. Now, I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up or not, but I'm already getting gold in the corners, well, especially this corner. Very, very, very fine gold just sitting there. The wave isn't enough to disturb that gold, so it just stays sitting on the bottom of the pan. Every time you get a good line, just suck it up and get rid of it. You really want to watch as you're doing this through this section right here that there's no gold traveling back. If you see gold traveling back, you're washing it too hard. So we just keep it nice and steady, watching that section. You might see a bit of gold on your pile move around a bit because when it's sitting up on top of the black sands, it can move quite easily. But once it hits the pan, it should stop. Once it hits the bottom of the pan, it should stop and stay where it's at. I see one flake that's come down about a quarter of the way. There's about halfway. It's all the way down to right there. So I'm going to stop at that point. I'm going to do a good job of sucking up the rest of this black sand, because it's just pure black sand back here, and then re-stratify it down at the front. Bring all that gold back down into a pile at the front. Then I can start my back washing again. Nice distinct line. Get in there and get rid of it. If you ever seen a wave table in action, it's a very similar process that concentrates gold on a wave table. It's that back and forth wave moves the black sand and the gold separately and concentrates them into different spots. In this case it's not shouldn't be moving the gold at all. It should just be moving the black sands. And I'm adjusting it as I go. I'm adjusting it as I go to maintain just the right amount of strength in that wave so that the gold is staying put, yet the black sand is moving away. And at any point, if I see a piece of gold traveling down, you can see that one right there, it traveled down, I should stop and reconcentrate. I should stop and reconcentrate, or get that piece of gold out, drop it back off at the front, and continue. If it's only one rogue piece of gold, you might get away with that. And if you have watched my other videos on cleaning up gold, the last two, you'll probably notice right off the bat that this seems a lot quicker than the other two methods. The tapping method can be quick if you have bigger, coarser gold but in fine, fine gold it can take a long time. This method is cleaning it up pretty quick. I have a few pieces of gold traveling down so I'm just going to get them all back to the front there. And then continue. distinct line of black sand that's been created. Just 
watching the river of black sand flowing down and making sure that I never see a piece of gold, even one piece of gold going down that old river of black sand and I will stop. There's two that are coming. So let's suck this up. You do a good job of getting all this black sand this time. Suck it up really good, really well I should say. And reconcentrate the front. Go back to washing. Stubborn piece here. That stubborn piece it wanted to travel down. But I'm basically done here. And there we are. All we need to do now is suck up the remaining black sand. Make sure we get it all. When you think you have it all, just do the wave one last time in here. Oops, I have a stubborn piece of gold. Let's push that out of the way to start with. Get it out of the way. But one last time with the wave there, any remaining black sand will form that line again. And you get it all. And oop, the water out. And there you go. We have pure, pure clean gold. At that point we can, we can find ourselves a little tray. Put a bit of water in here. Find ourselves a little tray. Grab the aqua tweezers. Corral it all into one spot. And shuck her up. One plate that's too big to suck up with the awkward tweezers. And there we have it. Pure clean gold. So there we have it. The backwash method. Quicker than the last two for sure. Uh, more effective I would say. Now that you've seen the three methods, you're ready for me to put them all together in the next video and show you how I would actually go about cleaning up my gold. Luckily, yesterday I was out at the Fraser River collecting some more fine gold. So I have a sucker bottle full of cons from my trip yesterday that in my next video I'm going to clean up like I normally would in my normal Garrett Super Sluice Pan, the one I normally use at the river, I'm going to show you how I would typically clean up my gold. Thanks so much to my patrons out there for supporting me in making these videos so all of YouTube world can watch them. If you would like to become a patron, there's a link here at the end of my video. Please click on the link right below me. It'll take you off to a Patreon site where you can pledge. A $10 pledge goes a very long ways in helping me make these videos. Please comment on what you think of this backwash method. Make sure you hit that like icon. And until the next video, everyone, bye.